Hello YouTubes, welcome to 2022. I'm going to start off the new year by getting rid of the old year. There's a metaphor for you. Now we can start the year. <sighs> All right, let's talk briefly about 2021. Full of hopes and dreams, dashed yet again because of you know what. It wasn't all bad. In fact, it was pretty good for me. In fact, just before New Year's Eve, I reached 1 million views on my channel, which is pretty awesome. And also got to 4,000 subscribers. So you guys helped with all of that. You guys also helped with acquiring new tools. Specifically, William at Solar Garage. He sent me a TIG welder. And because I did a review of the TIG welder, Yes Welder sent me a plasma cutter. Totally awesome. I also got lots of other gifts, like my uh, four-point race harness for my new project and Gary Collins gave me a, an odometer. There's just too much to mention. I'll try and list it all on the live stream that I'm doing later or earlier if you're watching this after. You get the idea. So I'm going to go through what I've got planned for this coming year. Or at least what I've got planned working on cars wise. Let's start with Bugsy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is my 1936 Chevy Coupe, which I built from a box of bits. Right, paint, still not got any concrete plans on paint, I'm afraid. The majority of folks seem to like it just as it is. I like it also, so let's not fix what's not broken. It's been running like a charm all last year. The only thing I think I would like to improve would be I want to get a new distributor. It's just a little bit choppy when I try and floor it from the line. And I think it's a distributor. Everything else is running great. I'd like to get new LED headlights. These headlights are just your standard 12 volt halogen bulbs and they're not the best. Apart from that, it's fine. I've already upgraded the flashers much nicer than the ones that were on before. Still happy with the wheels. Still getting new summer tyres. Didn't get a lot of mileage this year, so or last year. So the tyres will be fine for another year or two. No problem there. I think I need to address the window situation somehow. So I'm going to have to restructure the internals of the doors. Which is going to be a bit of a challenge, but um, we'll get there. Interior-wise... Still not really done anything with the back, and I do have a cooler for summer, for, you know, those long, hot road trips. I need to get that sorted. Rear suspension needs a little bit of work. I realised, or you may have realised, I never fitted bump stops on the top of the axle, and it has been hitting off of something over larger potholes. And I've also managed to nip my, one of my rear fuel li uh, brake lines which is not ideal, but uh, I'll need to get that sorted. But I do have to sort the rear suspension. There is a bit of bending where the rear shocks attach to the frame. So I need to reinforce that. I also need to get some weather stripping around here on the inside. At the moment, that's just a gap. There's no guttering whatsoever in there. And obviously, I need to get my fuel cap over to the other side where it's supposed to be. Exhaust is still fine. Uh, all the other glass is still fine, so we're good there. And of course, a general check of all the nuts and bolts. Make sure everything's tight because it's got fairly stiff suspension for a hot rod and 
things do loosen off a bit and I want it perfect for the next start of the show season, if we get one. <laughs> right, on to the new, the new project. My low cost 7R7 project. Obviously a long way to go, but I don't want it to be one of those 10 year projects. I want this thing on the road this year, believe it or not. Lots to do, lots to make. As you can see, there's nobody at all. But the first thing I want to do is get the thing rolling. The front has all its parts ready to connect and roll, although there is some geometry work involved in getting the suspension to work properly. It's really not right for the steering rack that I've got. Engine is a Mazda RX-7 13B turbo engine. I do have engine mounts to install and I need to fabricate some sort of rear transmission mount and then that will be in place. I don't even know if that thing runs. Hopefully it does. Got my steering column installed and I've still to mount my rear differential somehow. And then the biggest pain is going to be fabricating some sort of rear suspension setup. I've got the original RX-7 rear control arms which I don't think I can use but we'll see as I say long way to go but I'm kind of waiting for the better weather because I need to roll the whole thing out here to have space to work on it but in winter the mini lives in here so I'm a wee bit I'm a wee bit restricted in when I can work on it because I can only do it when that is a, not in the garage but hey that's okay I'll uh, I'll keep on Accumulating parts make life easier for myself. Truck is still running great after its engine rebuild. Uh, I'm going to have to fork out for new tires in summer though. That's another thousand dollars. Apart from that, perfect. Mini needs nothing that's brand new. Just drive it and enjoy it. Garage wise, what am I doing in here? I will be practicing more and more with my new TIG welder and plasma cutter. And talking about plasma cutter, the only thing that I really want to get for the garage, tools-wise, is a bigger, bigger compressor. That little compressor is just not powerful enough to run the plasma cutter for any period of time. Also means if I get, you know, a, a full-size compressor, I can get my proper air tools up and running. I do have a kit, but I've never been able to use them because they run out of puff really quickly with that thing. Apart from that, I've got plenty of tools. And I fitted more lights. As you may notice, it's nice and bright in here. So we're good to go for the year. Just need to get started. Full of beans. Should be a good year. So thanks again for all your support. This channel would be nothing without your help, honestly. Lots to do this year. Can't wait to get started. And I will see you in a couple of days where we make a start on these engine mounts. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.